So I think cloud native is a recurring theme in CSPs right now. Um, I would say that everybody goes back to core technology, which uh, uh, revolves around you know microservices, containers, and more uh, more specifically the adoption of Kubernetes as a core technology across. Uh, benefits. I mean, benefits the ability to build application in a true web scale environment, uh, as opposed to a, uh, I would say, verticalized uh, uh, function that uh, happened in the past. Uh, but also the benefits of moving to a more agile uh, CI/CD pipeline, being able to deploy continuously and, and upgrade continuously on you know tens of thousands of endpoints. Networks and other functions and solutions in the past really have not been able to scale as at the pace of business. And in order for us to take advantage of all the other changes in technologies, we need solutions and application sets that are cloud native. Even the current functions that have been virtualized really haven't been virtualized in a cloud native fashion because today uh, they may have been defined in software, but the infrastructure that's also needed to change really hasn't been considered when the virtualization happened with NFEs. Containers, cloud native, what gives you is, is that you decompose the software in, in such a way that it's much more flexible. It allows you to have faster LCM, more automatic LCM, and introduce services as you need them, only as you need them. Cloud native is the first assurance we have that we actually will be able to scale our infrastructure in the way that we always dreamt of but also Cloud Native will give us the ability to distribute application in different geography based on our customer needs. And with our Vodafone Gigabit Network and our 5G, it's really important for us to be able to deliver services to our customers in real time in a true sense. And Cloud Native is the only way we could achieve that in milliseconds of latency less than of 10. Cloud native technologies are uh, a very uh, important part of our future especially uh, in, uh, in, in the view of 5G, where we are working uh, as a team uh, on, 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 this, on this topic with, with very uh, high intensity. What we are doing on network automation, and especially on the IP transport automation, it's a part of this cloud-native world. In fact, uh, thinking about 5G, 5G involves uh, all the uh, communication world, from user terminal, up to core network, uh, radio, and so on. Then you have to evolve also the IP transport network uh, in order to be, to be flexible enough uh, to answer to new requirements, for example, network slicing. And automation is key for doing that in an effective way. The promise that uh, cloud-native uh, deployments uh, bring is precisely the idea that they are much more elastic and this is one of the reasons, well, the main reason why uh, we, uh, we embrace originally the, move, the movement towards virtualization is uh, this elasticity both potentially allow us to, uh, uh, to take better advantage of the infrastructure, provide better services at, at a lower cost and enhance automation, etc. So it's an it's a, uh, ideal situation, so uh, embracing the cloud native movements is the natural net, next step in the virtualization uh, uh, journey. 5G is cloud native. The 5G telecom applications will be cloud native built on microservices and container. And this means of course that we need to now also optimize the cloud infrastructure to support those cloud native applications. So we can see more and more of the ecosystem is centered around the CNCF communities, uh, the cloud native computing foundation community uh, around the Kubernetes. And we are now building this into our solutions and offerings. Well, the promise of cloud native technologies, it, it's, it's a compelling value proposition, right? Um, as our container implementations as well, and then Kubernetes as an orchestration element or things. Um, even the OpenStack folks are now supporting both VMs and containers, right? So you've got a bunch of things coming together in here. Uh, when you look at efficiencies from it, there's a promise when people look at the cloud service providers and say, hey, those guys have been making this cloud native model work. In the telco space from a network operator, we're moving to telco cloud implementations. We had to be able to use some of this. We have different challenges, right? We have service level agreements that are very different from your large global cloud service providers. If they go down for a little bit, 
you know, it takes a little bit longer. It's not the same as to when your video conference link drops or something else, right? So the promise of cloud native though is to help make your network more efficient, make it more nimble, make it more scalable. And that, there's a lot of work happening in that space. It's another exciting space and I think there'll be more to come in a few years. Cloud native is important as um, much of the uh, promise of the cloud is what we're moving towards in network. Um, you know, cloud, um, the utility, the usability, the portability, scale, performance that you can get from having uh, cloud native software um, is self-evident by the rise and popularity of using cloud resources. So software, um, that is cloud native um, by definition is going to be easier for us to uh, um, um, use uh, with all those attributes um, and network software which is where we're dealing with as as, uh, um, as network providers um, at the moment isn't in that cloud native form it's all been written by very specialized companies on often specialized hardware and so the stepping stones really to get there are what's important at the moment um, and, uh, but the benefits are you know, essentially obvious from what goes on in the cloud today, that you'll be able to, or more importantly, our end users will be able to spin up services, be able to move services, ch dynamically change their network, change bandwidth, et cetera, et cetera, whatever they need to do uh, in, in much faster time, at much bigger scale, and ultimately a cheaper uh, you know, price point. What is uh, the, 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 the effort that the industry is doing on standardizing 5G core? is going to require cloud native in order to exploit the full benefit of the technology of the technology itself. So there for sure we have uh, an area where the cloud native will help. But even if uh, we move from the core to the edge, the edge today is uh, something that we can already deploy, we, we can already deploy in a very effective way and at the moment we deploy at the edge containerized application the benefit of scales and the, simpli the simplicity on operating goes immediately up to the ceiling. So in reality, if we want to make examples, right, so 5G core is a good example, but even today, in the edge, we can have uh, uh, cloud native uh, applications that are, uh, that are really helping uh, uh, telcos on monetizing uh, faster.